So today, Matt and Nick are going to be doing anywhere from 8 to 10 by 1,200 meters. And we're going to do it on a flat road section here so they can run pretty comparable to what they'd be able to run on the track. Um, and so we can control the effort a little bit. Today, we didn't really want any undulation or any terrain to deal with. We wanted to really focus on the effort. So anywhere from 8 to 10 by 1,200, depending on how they're feeling and how they're looking, uh, just kind of based on where they are in their training cycle. And rest wise, we're just going to take a minute and a half rest. So these effort is supposed to be right at threshold. So we're trying to get right at that line of where they're, they're working, but they can easily recover within 90 seconds. And each one feels the exact same as the one prior to it. So the goal is really total volume of the workout and just really um, trying to trying to get in good volume of work, but not crush themselves either. So it should be, should be a good session. We've got a nice day for us. So 1200s today, sort of marathon pace, but with the altitude, more like half marathon effort. Yeah. Um, what did you think of the session? Yeah, I would say it, uh, it's a good test. You know, we haven't, we've done a lot of stuff on the track recently. And so it's always nice to come out to Mountain Shadows, even though it's like almost entirely flat <laughs> as, a, as a loop. Uh, it still has those little bit of ups, you know, gradual up, gradual down. Uh, the wind's in your face on some of them. So it's, it's a nice uh, reminder that like the roads are hard, right? <laughs> you have to break it up as best you can. And you know, and it's another one of those where I had 10 of those 1200s. So, you know, a couple of those, I'm like, man, I don't feel like I can finish this thing out. Like, you know, consistently at least. Um, but then it just comes back around. So it's just a nice reminder that marathon training is hard. You're gonna go through thoughts and feelings and it'll just, it'll pass. So it was good. Yeah, and I got to join Nick for eight of those, and yeah, as you, as you were saying, like, this road is, it, it's deceivingly hard with the out, and then it kind of uh, goes downhill a little bit, but it's nice to be out here and feeling a little bit more comfortable running this kind of effort, even at 7,000 feet. We had a little bit of cloud cover today, which meant it wasn't quite as hot, um, but it felt like a good day all around. Yeah. Matt, when you're doing the lactate testing during the workout, do you, do you like that immediate feedback? It's definitely not. I mean, this was actually the first time that I did it with Alan. So, but I'm, I'm still getting to know what the numbers completely mean, but yeah. it's nice to, yeah, have that feedback and even for him to know, tell me that, yeah, I mean, you're, you're in the right zone. You're, uh, cause sometimes when you're doing the effort, you, th 
you think this is this is the right effort, but for someone to actually tell you, hey, your blood is telling you this is the right effort, I think you can take some confidence from that. Very good. Nick, uh, you enjoying working out with Matt again? Oh, it's been great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it feels like it's been too long, and we're always like a little bit off of each other. I remember like this time last year, he's like way ahead of me. We're going to the same workout, but it's just like, okay, just let Matt go, you know, out of Buffalo Park. So being able to do eight reps with him here, same pacing, and just like... Being like, okay, yep, nice rep. Way to go. Let's get another one in. It was just great. It's good energy. All right, good job, man. Thank you.